out there in video, digital, computer land. Welcome to the first ever episode of Win by Two. That's what we're calling it. Win by Two is going to be our little world where we can come together and talk to you about all the oh, things that are interesting. Two of us. That's right. And we're okay. going to win. We're going to win the game of online vlogging, I think. Okay. Yeah, why not? I'm done. Uh, my name is Steve Hargrave. This is my man. Jeff Cheese. That's right. We are the co-owners of Dallas Premier Volleyball Club here in Dallas, Texas. And um, Win by Two is going to be our chance to hopefully weekly, or we're going to try to do weekly, get out here and talk about mainly everything volleyball related through the lens of through the viewpoint of Dallas Premier and right. give you some Premier announcements yep. and all that fun stuff. We're going to talk yeah. about... The whole world of volleyball, but mainly North Texas Junior Girls Volleyball. and uh, Because it is its own anomaly. It's, well, and it's a megalith, let's be honest. No, it is, yeah. North Texas I don't know what volleyball means, is no yeah. joke. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, the first thing we're going to do uh, when we start these things off is we're going to do a little bit of uh, current events, updates, things that need to be talked about. Uh, obviously, the big news is it's 2018, yo. Both of us graduated high school and were born a long time. Like, I remember when I was young thinking about what 2020 would look like. Yeah. We were told there was going to be flying cars. I really wanted flying cars. I really thought that was the, the like, that's the hallmark of when the future is here. Yeah. Like, there could be robots who give birth to other robots. And I'm like, if you don't have a flying car, it's right. not the future yet. Yeah, the Jess and Blind. <laughs> So anyway, that's the big news. Obviously, it's 2018 is here, and 2018 hopefully is a, a good year for us. So yeah. we're looking forward to it. A um, couple of things happened in December that I think are worth talking about besides the the, the birth of our Lord and Savior. Um, what happened? In, uh, we had a couple of alumni that had big Decembers, right? We did, yeah. So there was a, you know, everybody knows about the NCAA championships, which was... Who knew, right? It's exciting. Final I mean, four, big final four. I mean, I knew. I knew Nebraska was going to We all do. I mean, it. come on, defending champs, let's go. Um, but there was also a the rebirth of the NIV, which is the National Invitational Volleyball right. Tournament. And the winner of that tournament was Ole Miss. And Ole Miss beat Texas Tech in the finals, which who would have thunk that also? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but good, job. good for us is that uh, Kate Klopeka was the Libro for Texas Tech. Yep, had a phenomenal year. She's racking up crazy numbers. She always does. She's so, she's so good. She can play. Um, and then Ole Miss had two of our very own also. Jordan Fate was a setter. And Bay the Bomb, <laughs> Bailey, was a <laughs> freshman starting in the middle. Yeah, so we had three premier kids it. on the floor. In, the, in finals. the finals. So we're super proud of you girls. Yeah. Great job. Congratulations, awesome. Ole Miss. Uh, so, yeah, that all happened in December, and uh, a couple of tournaments happened in December. Premier, yeah. All of our teams have played in at least one tournament at now, so one, we're all yeah. ready to go for for the big weekend this weekend, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So what we thought we would do on this first episode is we're going to talk about the things we're looking forward to. So 2018's here. It's the new year. The right. end, of, end of the year summary was last week. Now we're looking at what's going to happen now. What's what the future brings. What do we, and it's not flying cars. We've already covered that. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to do three each. We're going to do three um, storylines that we're looking forward to or things that we're curious about in the upcoming volleyball season. So yeah. Um, why don't you go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, so something new for Premier is the Triple Crown. Right, 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 is right. It imp invitational? Uh, yeah, crown? Uh, yeah, something like that. I don't know. It's a huge tournament. If you don't know, it's in Utah. It is pretty much taken place or taken over, I guess, the place of the Vegas tournament. Well, the President's Day huge. weekend tournaments that have been going on. I mean, it used to be Omaha. It used to be Vegas. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a lot. That's, and they still go on. Yes. But they're just a little smaller. Triple Crown has by far the deepest talent pool. Yeah, there's, they've definitely. There's no doubt about yes. that. And so we got invited. So thanks, Triple Crown. Um, and we are sending our 16s through 18s to go and participate and see what it's like to get an early exposure, I guess, to, to the top. To the top. To the top, I mean, top. The top. 10 probably at this tournament are somewhere in the top 15, 20, probably in the country. Oh, probably for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. At, almost, at every age group. Yeah, for sure. So it'll be good for us to go. Um, there's a couple of things about it. There's the field. There's yes. also the format. They do the power pool format, yeah, which we are, pool. by the way, I, my understanding is a lot of the bid events here are going to be implementing that format. They should. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. I should. I 
was my idea. But anyway, um, yeah, there, so I'm interested to see when you guys get up there how you like the format, how you like the recruiting, the yeah. exposure, yeah. which is why we're sitting in our older teams. Correct. And then, you know, really ask the question, is it worth the is it worth the money? And and yeah. and rumor has it they're coming to Kansas City next year, right? Yes. So yeah, a lot of stories there. I, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see yeah. that as well. Anxious. Um, for me, it's a lot. Of, um, for those of you that don't know, I guess, we'll we'll do an episode where we do like bios of us. But anyway, um, as uh, one of the hats that I wear, I'm very interested in uh, the clubs around the region and the storylines that are developing there. So a couple of the ones that have my eye are Excel and Drive Nation. Uh, probably the two biggest stories in the off season was Excel moving into their own facility, which I've been to, and it's. A huge, yes, and it's nice and it's clean and it's new and I can't wait to see how it holds. It's already held the tournament. I haven't actually asked Sherry or or, or Sean or anybody how, or Shay, sorry, not Sean, Shay, how that tournament went. Um, but I'm sure it was great that we went over there and looked at it. It's a it's a good facility. So I'll be interested to see how moving out of the shark pit that is where we practice, right, uh, into that area and how the new facility does for them. Yeah. And then of course the big story with Drive Nation. Drive you know, Nation. Uh, brand new club started with some money, some college coaching clout, taking some kids from TAV, taking some other kids, and that it, see how that team, especially at the 18, I think it's the team we're all really interested yeah, in. That should be good. And seeing how they all, uh, they all how that how that comes together and how they do this year. So super interested to see what happens with those storylines. Yeah. So. Yeah, I want to see how Stevie does. Right. I love me some Stevie, so hopefully she can be successful because Lord knows it's, it's tough in this region. It's not <laughs> always easy. You can't just come in and set up shop. And but people have tried. But she's a, she's a good person, so hopefully she can get in and get it done. Yeah. Godspeed, like girl. Yeah. All right, what else? Um, what's new for? Oh, Premier went to Nike. Ah. No, this is not oh, what that is. I got an old stuff. Yeah, on. no, we went to Nike, so that's exciting for us because it's been so far pretty pretty positive. Um, we've gotten all of our stuff timely. It wasn't yes. sitting on a dock somewhere, wasting away in Margaritaville. Um, nah, I got to call anybody. I'm gonna... But it was there. Um, so it's showing up. Um, the kids <laughs> love it. We think they look nice. We've been complimented yep. at every event we've gone to about how nice it looks. And the kids like the way it feels. And, you know, our Nike guy has been been exceptional. I mean, yeah. Like, lots really of, good job. Lots of options. We, like, we have a, I feel like we have a lot more to choose from without getting crazy. Yes. Like, it's not like we're, we're thumbing through 500 different uniforms. But it's just, you yeah. can kind of be unique. You can yeah. kind of be different. And so... That's definitely a good yeah. thing, and yeah, I dig it. It's been it's been really really good so far. Yeah, really easy, really low super maintenance, easy, super yeah. direct. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been great, stuff. and we think it looks good. So, yeah. um, my storyline that I'm looking at the second one for the 2018 season is <clears throat> Dallas Premier has had about 50 percent turnover in coaching staff, a little bit more. Uh, we got our veterans back. Um, some of our people that were with us last year for the first time have come back. Um, people that did a really great job, like, you know, Amy Torres and Chino, who's right behind the camera here. Uh, they all came back. Uh, of course, Robert Brown, Jay, Leibowitz, us too, uh, Erica, Dupree. Like, we've got the, the people that have been with Premier who are coming back. But we've got a crop of, like... Don't forget Annie. Oh, of course, Annie, who's been with us since forever yeah that's a good point and amy gunter and i mean i could list the whole crew for sure yeah uh rachel mallory like these guys all did a great job <clears throat> i am ex <laughs> i am excited about the what do we have five or six new young female gym rats who are excited about being in the gym yes they're all in their mid-20s to early 20s they love the kids they want to be up there they want to learn. Some like they're, of them they're just are eager in and putting in extra. We had a girl who came in who said, "Hey, at the next at the next practice, we're going to have to do a lot of hitting." She came up there an hour early just to practice hitting against the wall, seeing how accurate she was, just because she didn't want to like. She just wants to learn to be a coach. Yeah, you know, not hitting like a kid, not hitting like an athlete, but hitting like a coach. Yeah, you know, like they just they want to learn to toss, they want to learn rotations, they want to learn. Like they're just eager, and I'm super excited about that because. Yeah. We almost always inevitably get people who already think they know everything. And it's just nice to see Sh people in that this are, region. Shocker. I know, right? <laughs> it's nice to see coaches who are hungry and young and excited. And it's got, I don't know, it's got me feeling way younger than I am. I'll tell you that. Like, I feel energized again. Oh, yeah. So. It's definitely an energy in the gym. It's yeah, positive. for sure. We've yeah. always had a good gym feel, but it's really positive right now. I agree. That's yeah. a great way of putting it. It makes me feel old because they're so young. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> 
Uh, what is uh, okay? So, what's your third and final story of 2018, sir? Um, I, I'll go first. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me go really first. I'll go first. I got one right away. Ladies first. So go. First. Okay. Chino. Oh, all right. I'll go then. So, <laughs> I'm a, I'm also the junior coordinator for the for the region, and so I do a lot of numbers and a lot of plug. A lot of uh, <laughs> Shame. uh, policy, Shameless and plug. I like that. <laughs> it was it was a shame. I'm ashamed. Um, what it means is is that I keep a close. I, I I like to keep a close eye on where the region is and the growth. And and to be honest, the past ten years, the region has just been growing like huge, except for the last two. We have slipped like about one percent. The latest numbers, sh- and, and a lot of people think that's because trial, trial process. process changed. Because the C, the eighteen schedule changed, Change, yeah. Um, so we were less younger kids were learning that we were having trials because they were earlier. More seniors and juniors were quitting because they don't want yeah. to change the schedule. Beach, uh, beach took away some kids. Um, seniors who played basketball didn't want to start in February and end it, so they they had a shorter season. They wasn't worth it. Yeah. Um, and people thought the prices were going up. Well, I am happy to report that I actually got an email today that. Uh, our two year comparison from this to date last year, we're up almost a thousand girls. So we're growing again. And that's, that's across the board. That's boys, girls, adult men, adult women. So as a region, we're from compared to this point last year, we're up and we're up over where we were when we started to fall. So we're actually seeing that growth again. Maybe people are figuring out the trial process or I don't know, but yeah. that's, I'm that's super probably, happy about that. That's probably what but on the note of trial process, that's my other storyline of 2018. So, as many of you know, the trial process is always crazy, hectic. There is policy coming down that will be voted on soon and will be hopefully passed that will formalize all that. It's not going to change much, but it will be far more strict on clubs trying to recruit kids too early. Uh, it's going to hold the parents and kids accountable to clubs when they commit. It's going to hold the clubs accountable when they commit. So keep an eye on that. I'm, I'm very interested to see. I'll, we'll be talking about it here when it comes out. And yeah. uh, I'll You're, let you know how Removing the shade out of that whole yeah. process would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, one of the things we decided was you're never going to stop shady people from being shady. Yeah. But you can help. Right. You can definitely put language in help. So that's yeah. what we're doing. And okay. No, hopefully that'll good. clean it up. Yeah. So. Let's hope. All right. So you got a third one? I mean, there's nothing really big, I don't think. Come on. I mean, we are, we're going into our own building. Oh, right. Hello. Yeah. Say what? Now, that's exciting. So <coughs> Steve and I have put together just hours and hours and hours and hours. I don't think you can make that many hours. That's a lot of hours. That's why we're old. We're <laughs> a long time ago. But um, no, we've put together a just hours and hours and hours of what we need to grow, you know, our five-year plan, our 10-year plan. And we're getting up to our 10-year We're plan. close on our 10-year, yeah. So... It's time for us to take that, you know, step forward, put on our big boy pants yeah. and, you know, move out of the house. And so we've been in a place for a while and it's been we, great. Yeah. And we had a good relationship with them. And, yeah. But, but now, now we feel it's time for us to move on. Absolutely. You know? So we are looking at a new place. I don't know exactly where yet. <laughs> I mean, I do know, but we have a couple of proposals out. Keep posted. Yeah. We'll keep you posted um, on that. Um, yeah, but we're looking to move into our own place. Um, we've got a couple of, you know, offers, I guess, of people that we've spoken to about moving into a pre-existing building, moving to a new building, doing our own thing, you know, and we've just got to kind of sift through what we feel is the best yeah. for us. We've got unless, two really viable offers on the table. So Unless anyone watching this wants to throw Hey, five listen, if anybody out there has you got, got their mil? daddy Warbucks pockets, Call you me. go ahead and give us a ring. Yeah, put chest up right here. Um, just personally, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, uh, we've got a couple that we're talking to, yeah. and we're super excited. We're thinking about August or September. The process is yeah. our goal. That's we'd, where we want to be. We'd like to be in, yeah, practicing next year in our facility, ready to go. So and we're, we're on track. About it. We are on track. Yes. So those are our storylines. Twenty eighteen. There's a lot more to look forward to. Yeah. I mean, the individual premier teams. Uh, National volleyball scene, college coaching carousel going on yeah, right now. There's a ton. Um, all those storylines are out there, so we can't get to them all here. Uh, one of the things we do want to talk about, though, because it's coming up, I, I can argue, aside from regionals and even, maybe even with regionals, the biggest region tournament 
of the year yeah. is almost always MLK. Correct. And it's this weekend. And it is, one, larger than it's ever been. There's more teams in this tournament. I, th- I think that's right. Don't quote me on that. Well, that's on tape. But you know what I mean. I'm almost positive, though, it's the largest it's ever been. You can tell Steve's old because there's no tape involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's all digital. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> true story. So I think that's a that's – a, I know in my division, I want to say it was like 33 of the top 35 teams on the rankings – are in this event. Yeah, I think mine's similar to that. Yeah, I think every age group is pretty, pretty tough. Um, the – well, we already kind of touched on this a little bit. One of the things I'm looking on is uh, the 18s. So – and hats off to Andy because it's not easy seeding MLK. You don't know anything yet. You don't know who's gone to what club. You don't – I mean, it's hard. But Drive Nation – being a two seed in Skyline's top team pool at 18s, right off the bat in pool five, where the loser is going to end up playing a one or two seed in the round of eight, when Drive Nation might be one of the top five 18s teams this year. Easily. Right? Like, that's a that's a dogfight. So, that if you want to go to ace at 3 p.m., <laughs> or actually at the end of that 3 p.m. pool, yeah, that's going to be a match. That's going to be a match to watch. For sure. Um, so that's the storyline I'm looking at. Uh, it, MLK is so big, they're using multiple facilities for the same age group. Like, yeah. there's like, they can't fit, we can't, they can't fit it. He can't fit it in one gym. So that's insane. It's yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot of teams. But this yeah. is where we find out where everybody sits, you know? Yeah, this is the first one. So you get your V star ranking that everybody loves. That's right. Um, but what if this crazy weather keeps up? Ooh, you know, ooh. If it, if it like I mean, ice this weekend, yeah, it would be because it's not supposed to tragic. Get, I mean, it's supposed to get a little warmer, but this yeah, is what if Texas something hits? Like, who well, yeah, who knows? Yeah, that would be crazy. I mean, if we ended up having to cancel the first, oh, yeah, or like truncated and cut down the brackets and do insane. half pools. Oh my god, it'd be brutal. So hopefully, they have a contingency plan. Yeah, we are, there is a weather policy in place. We did put that because this happened what a few years back. Yeah, about five to the to the uh, what is now the Nike one. Yeah, um, the one that TAV hosts, and we had weather that was bad. It was bad, and we had to they and there were some decisions that were made, and so we we came up with a policy so club so tournament directors would have something to do something right. to fall back on in these situations. Yeah. So hopefully we don't have to implement them. Hopefully we all get to play. Yeah, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, what if? Really? Gina, why are you calling me? Really? What? There's only one ring that rings. Professional. So professional. T- it is on silent. Oh, my God. But it's my wife. Now no one's going to subscribe. She will. <laughs> <laughs> we just gained a subscriber. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, what do um, you think? I, I don't know. I think that's about it. Not a whole lot more I want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do. So our goal for this is. To come up with some recurring segments, some man on the street, some uh, polls and questions that you guys can send in uh, and do a QA. and a You know, we want to talk about everything. And if we're doing this weekly, right now there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Eventually there won't be, and we're going to need some of those ideas. So here's what we want you to do. Down below in the comments, give us ideas. What do you want to see? Uh, what will be fun for us to do? What kind of uh, segments do you want to talk? What kind of topics do you want to talk about? What kind of segments do you want to see us do? Um, yeah, I mean, what... What are your thoughts on how yeah. even, even your team, your club, send us some stuff? You know, yeah. something crazy is going on. Oh yeah, we'll do a team of the team of the episode or whatever. Yeah, we can, yeah, then that's be just premier. And it's teams. not, yeah, anybody in the region, anybody in the state, shoot. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, anybody in the country. Yes. Yeah, you want to go from Wisconsin? Somebody from Wisconsin Juniors want to hit yeah, us up? Bring absolutely. it on. Yeah, Northern Lights, bring it. We'll yeah, get, we'll get what? in there. What, Kurt? We're going to your tournament. We'll promote <laughs> yeah, it. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, do the normal. You know, we want to get this thing started. We'd love to get some uh, liking and some subscribing going on. Say about that all. Th- I think my thumb looked like it's supposed to. Like I don't, can you uh, see my thumb in there? I don't know if that's yeah. right. We want to get that done. So, yeah, click, 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 like, subscribe, leave all some comments. And we'll check them out, and we'll, uh, hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get you on here one time. Yeah. Right? We're going to interview a couple people. Right. It's a surprise. All right. Well, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Take it easy, Volleyball World, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Later. Peace.